guy that put up a double-double in that game. So it's going to be by committee, but uh, make no mistake about it, I think they have enough guys. Uh, Hauser with a hand in his face, one second on the shot clock, and he drills it. And Tate guards, no matter their size, down low in the post. Huff goes to close out Aluma. He drives in and hammers it home to tie it at 21. And then showing off the hops. He's got a complete game going tonight. Clark, pull up, hop. He hits it. Kihei Clark, the immediate answer to end a 7-0 Hokies run. His fires, though. Kihei Clark, fearless in transition. Kihei Clark, scoop to the hoop. Timeout, Mike Young. Just a gamer, and obviously he's got a national title to go along with his name. Swish at the end of the shot clock, the sharpshooter, Trey Murphy. Who's going to make contested shots? Both these teams do an excellent job closing out and forcing contested shots. And another tough contested three. Watch how Virginia closes out. They do an excellent job, not just being there on the catch, but having their hands in position. That is an old school V cut. That's what Virginia Tech does. Back door left, wide open. There's your answer, says Trey Murphy. Okies have made three in a row. Couture, left open. We're tied at 47. Kept the possession for Virginia Tech. After the block, here's Aluma. He's got 25. And that's a pretty clean look. First time with Hauser off a nice kick by Clark. And when Virginia's dried up from three, Virginia Tech's heated up. Not a bad look. Typically, P.A. Clark able to get that down. That actually was a pretty clean look. Justin Mutz there for the follow finish. Dominated the defensive glass. They did not give Virginia anything uh, on the offensive glass. Start to finish, though. Uh, impressive on both ends for Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech outscores Virginia 44-22 in the second half.